Hello, I'm Elise. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a book haul. Now, typically I wait to do book hauls till the end of the month so I can collect all the books I've hauled in the month, but I have already gotten so many books that I need to do one now. I have 12 books here and it's like the 14th of September when I'm filming this, which is kind of ex insane. I've almost gotten a book a day. <laughs> I mean, I didn't go out and buy one each day, but you know what I mean. So we're going to go over them all now. I did get some as gifts. I'm going to go over those at the end. So I'll start with the ones that I bought. And the first stack that I bought, I ordered from Blackwell's and that's because I wanted the UK cover because I just hated the US cover and was refusing to spend money on them. So I ordered them from Blackwell's to get the, in my opinion, better cover. So we'll go over those first. So the first one is Mrs. Caliban and this is by Rachel Ing Rachel Ingalls and this is published by Faber. So Faber came out with this new edition for it. This was originally published in the 80s, I believe. Let's see if it has it. Yeah, 1982 was when this was originally published. And this is about a woman who's in an unhappy marriage and this amphibious human-like creature um, kind of shows up on her doorstep and they end up falling in love. I think from what I've heard, this has like very much women's sexuality. Um, in the 80s, it was like very kind of controversial representation because it showed a woman enjoying sex basically, shocker. Um, but this one I've heard has like the Pisces plus Shape of Water vibes kind of. So I'm very much intrigued for this and look at that gorgeous cover. The US cover is like a lime, just pure lime green with two like yellow eyes on it. Like what? No. So this cover is gorgeous. I'm very excited to have this edition and it's like matte and textured and I love it. So I'm excited to get to this one. The next one is The Haunting Season and this says Ghostly Tales for Long Winter Nights. And I bought this for October. So you'll be seeing this on my October TBR. And this is exactly what it says. So it's just like ghostly tales, but I don't think they lean on the horror side. I think they're more um, just like cozy, wintry side, like maybe slightly scary, but not hugely scary, um, which I got because I'm reading a lot of horror in October. So I wanted something that didn't lean into that so I could have a little bit of a break. Um, so I'm very excited for this. This has um, eight stories in it, and they're stories from Kieran Millward Hargrave, Jess Kidd, Bridget Collins, Elizabeth McNeil, and more. So I'm very excited for this. I also think this cover is gorgeous, and this is published by Sphere. So that is the haunting season. The last one I got from Blackwell's is The Twyford Code by Janice Hallett, and this is by Viper. And I'm a little bit sad because this is the hardback. I thought I ordered the paperback, one, because I like paperbacks better, and two, because I ordered the UK cover of, what is it, The Appeal, um, and I ordered it in paperback, and I love it, and I wanted them to match, but they don't match, so uh, I'll get over it. <laughs> but. Yeah, this one um, is Janice Hallett's new mystery. And they, the previous one and this one are kind of mixed media. This one's mostly audio files. So you can see it will say like audio file uh, and then have the transcript. The previous one was mostly in emails. And this one I think follows something about a like famous children's author. Yeah, famous children's author, Edith Twyford. There's something about like a manuscript of theirs that has like strange markings and annotations in it. I think people are trying to explore the mystery of what those mean. So very interested in this. I enjoyed the appeal. I gave it four stars. Um, so I'm excited to get to this one. And sometimes mixed media is just fun. So I'm excited to have a different format to dive into whenever I pick this one up. So that is that. Those are the ones from Blackwell's. Now I'm going to get into the other ones that I got here at independent bookstores. So the first one is a nonfiction and that's How Jesus Became God. And this is by Bart D. Ehrman. And this is published by Harper One. And this I got solely because of Mara from Books Like Woe. So she recently read this 
Um, and I thought it sounded very intriguing and she talks about on her channel that she's in the process of deconstructing and I am like in a similar area as well. So I thought this might be good for me to pick up. So grabbed this one. Next, I got this gorgeous one and this is Daddy's Gone a Hunting by Penelope Mortimer. And this is published by who? By whom? This is published by McNally Editions. Um, and this was originally published in the 50s, I want to say. When was, yeah, 1958. Um, so this is um, a new edition that I just love. And this one, I believe, is about a woman who is in potentially an abusive marriage, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, and it's really just exploring like feminine rage. So very intrigued to pick up this one and see what that is about. Next one is one of my five star predictions actually for the year and that is Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies by Maddie Mortimer and this edition is done by Scribner and I have been waiting to pick up the paperback of this because I like the paperback cover more than the hardback cover and I just like paperbacks like I said earlier it has deckled edges and French flaps so amazing um, and yeah like I said this is one of my five star predictions so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. This one follows a woman who is diagnosed with cancer. Well, maybe it follows the, the protagonist might be the daughter of the woman. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I know that cancer is one of the perspectives in this book and it has some experimental format. So let me see if I can, yeah, find some stuff. So definitely experimental. I've heard great things about this um, and I've been looking forward to reading it for a while even before it was on the Booker long list. So I'm gonna read this at some point and excited to report back. Hopefully it's the five stars I think it's going to be. And the next one I got is Briefly A Delicious Life by Nell Stevens and this is published by Scrivener as well. And this one I've been hearing a lot of people talk about and it is about, um, what's her name? George Sand, who basically is in a relationship with Chopin and they go to France, I believe, and they're staying in kind of this house that is haunted, but not like spooky haunted. It's haunted by this woman who I think ends up falling in love with George. George is a woman um, and kind of, that story. So I'm curious to see what this is about. I don't know much about Chopin's life and so that stuff might go over my head. I might need to do a little googling before I start it but I've heard great things and I'm excited to read that one. The last one that I picked up myself is The Other Americans by Layla Lalami and I have read multiple Layla Lalamis before. Um, mostly her older work which I don't think I haven't seen a lot of other people read. Um, I've seen more people read her more recent stuff, uh, but I very much enjoy her work. I was actually reading her when I was in Morocco, so I read a couple of her novels there and I've been wanting to get back to her. Um, so yeah, another Layla Lamy book. This one is published by whom? Let's see. It might be Harper, but I'm not sure. No, Pantheon Books. This one is published by Pantheon Books. Um, and this one follows a Moroccan immigrant that's living in California um, and they are killed by a speeding car and basically it follows the repercussions of their death and how it brings like a diverse cast of characters together and I think we might be getting the POVs from each of the characters that are sort of affected by this death. So that is The Other Americans. Okay, so those are all the ones that I bought myself. The next four are gifts from my lovely mother-in-law. Um, I think I might have mentioned in a previous haul that my mother-in-law loves reading thrillers and historical fiction. And typically she sends me the ones that she really enjoys afterwards. I don't read a ton of those, but I do read them occasionally. So I'm very grateful to have them for when I want to pick them up. So the first two are both by Megan Miranda, which I have read from once before and it was one that my mother-in-law sent me um, and one of them is The Girl from Widow Hills. Love that this is a paperback 
and this is by Simon and & Schuster. And this one says, everyone knows the story of the girl from Widow Hills. So this follows Arden Maynard, who was a child when she was swept away while sleepwalking during a rainstorm and went missing for multiple days. And then people are trying to find her and rescue her and then she's found alive. And it kind of shifts forward to when she's an adult, she's changed her name, she's living far away and has kind of chosen to stay off of the radar, but then she feels like she's being watched and maybe is going to start sleepwalking again. So we'll see if the cycle is starting all over. The next one is Such a Quiet Place by Megan Miranda. And I think this is a newer one. Maybe this came out last year. Um, and this one I believe is about a woman who is in prison for a crime that she claims she didn't commit. When she comes back into the neighborhood that she used to live in, everyone is kind of like skeptical of her and, and doesn't like her and doesn't want her to be there, but she wants to investigate and figure out who the real like committer of the crime is. I believe this one has a map in it, if I'm not making that up. Oh yeah, it does, look. There's a map of the neighborhood. So that is another Megan Miranda one. The next one is The Plot. And this is by Jean Hanf Korolitz. And this one was kind of buzzy when it first came out. This is by Celadon Books. Um, and this one I believe follows a professor who has this really cocky, arrogant student that says they have the plot for the perfect novel and they're gonna be a huge bestseller. Um, and the student tells the professor the plot and the professor's like, shit, that really is a good plot. Um, and is pissed because this arrogant, cocky kid is gonna become a bestseller and then that kid dies and so the professor thinks well they're dead I'm gonna use this plot and they do and they have a best-selling book and then later on they get a note saying like that they know someone knows what they did basically that they stole the plot so that is this one and lastly, the historical fiction that I got sent was The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. Um, I have never read Kristen Hanna before, is that correct? Yeah, I have not. I have The Nightingale, also from my mother-in-law, and I haven't read it. Um, but this one is one of the more recent ones. I believe this is during the Dust Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Texas 1921 because my land tells its story if you listen, the story of our family. So I've heard great things about this. I've heard that it's made people cry, <laughs> which who knows if I'm ready for at this moment, but it is a chunkster, uh, but I am intrigued about this one. So I'm sure I'll get to it at some point, but that is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. This is the book of the month edition, obviously, but it's published by St. Martin's Press. So that is the book haul. I hope you saw something you're interested in or enjoyed. If you've enjoyed any of the books here, or even if you didn't, let me know what you thought of them down below. I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts. Um, and then if you're interested in picking any of these up, let me know that as well. Uh, and also, what's the last book that you bought? You know, books cost money, and like I love spending my money on books, but I always am curious about why people choose to buy certain books and not others, so let me know what the last book you bought was. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.